Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star, and uh, talking to you a little bit about the Missouri basketball team, which opened the season today uh, with an 83-74 victory against Wofford. Um, it was uh, an inspired performance in a lot of ways, I thought. I mean, you saw guys diving on the floor. Um, there was a lot of hustle, um, things that you didn't necessarily see last year. The, the guys shot 56%. I don't think they shot better than 51% in any game last year. They scored 83 points. They never scored more than 79 in any game last year. Uh, they had 12 assists and nine turnovers. That was not the rule last year to have more assists than turnovers. So an encouraging performance on a lot of fronts. Um, they did a pretty good job defensively. Uh, there were some breakdowns here and there, but when you've got a young team, uh, I think that's going to happen a little bit more uh, on defense maybe than, than on offense. Uh, look, the guys that they had out there um, looked like they belonged. They looked like they were having fun playing together. They looked like they were playing hard together. It was a, a, a dramatic change from last year uh, when the team often looked lethargic, um, and especially by the end of the season, um, really, even in Ryan Rosberg's words, um, was a little depressed about the way things had gone. Obviously, last year started with a loss to UMKC, playing arguably a better Wofford team um, You know, in the opener this year. Missouri gets off on the right foot with a very nice victory. I don't know that, the, that this Wofford team is going to win 28 games again. They may not even win the Southern Conference and make the NCAA tournament again. But it's a team that came in with the pedigree, had some experienced guys. You knew down 10 they weren't going to give up in the second half. They were going to fight back, and they did. But Missouri kept it together, kept its composure. Nobody crumbled. Nobody started pointing fingers. When they needed big shots, guys like Naaman Wright, who scored 18, would step up and make big shots. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Kevin Perrier today. He's the reigning Dorena Award winner as the top high school basketball player in Kansas City. He led Blue Spring South to a state title last year. He wants to bring championships to Mizzou as well. This is his dream school, as he puts it. And he went out and dropped 20 points and five rebounds in his college debut. It was impressive. Um, I thought he might be an 8-5 and five guy, and I thought that would be pretty good for him this year coming in. Um, you know, and he still may be an 8-5 and five guy, but tonight he was a 20-5 and five guy, and it, it was a, an incredible start to his career. That's the most points for a Missouri front court player in, as a, in his first game as a freshman at Missouri since Javon Crudup. Uh, scored 22 against Rutgers in 1991. So some fairly elite company there as far as that goes and a pretty good night at Mizzou Arena. And, I mean, look, Missouri needed something good to happen. For the 5,037 fans that showed up today, they at least got to enjoy, uh, you know, a couple hours of, of respite from everything else that's gone on around campus this week. For more on Missouri uh, football and basketball, visit KansasCityStar.com. And uh, we'll keep you up to date as the weekend rolls along with more football and basketball.